Hey, what's going on everybody? Appreciate you tuning in to another video. Um, this video is going to be on the new Profit Trailer feeder release. Um, for those of you who don't know, this new release is really awesome. It puts a lot more power into this bot. So I'm really excited to have been testing this out for the past few days. But basically what it allows us to do is use different buying strategies for different market conditions. So for example, in the past, we have only been able to use one buying strategy. When we pull up our app settings, we we basically set our strategy, our buy strategy, and we're only using that one buy strategy for all of our folders, our super bear, bear, boring, bull, and super bull. So the problem with that is, is if you've been testing this bot out at all, you you probably realize that there's definitely better buying strategies for different market conditions. So for me, what I've noticed is low BB works really well in a, a bearish market. Um, I've noticed that the EMA spread works pretty well in a, in a bullish market. And then EMA gain pretty much works in, in it really works anywhere, but I, I like it more in the, the boring market or maybe a, just the bull. So this allows us to really hone in our settings and, and give us even more power and give the bot more potential to make winning trades. So I'm really excited to have been testing this out. Um, I wanted to note that um, Crypto Gnome, he, he's a guy that I, I like to stay up to date with because he updates his settings in his GitHub and he does a really good job. So this guy works really hard. And I uh, just want to give him a shout out because I'm using some settings very similar. And the funny thing is I didn't even know he put up settings for this new market condition that we were, uh, that I'm talking about. But um, I've been running this for about 24 hours and just before the video, I downloaded his settings and he has some pretty similar stuff in here. Mine, I still have some DCA offsets. He doesn't use uh, many offsets in the market conditions section down here. Um, I'm still having pretty good results with that. So I'm keeping those in and there, I still need to make a couple tweaks. I actually need to tweak this. I need to take this out. Um, come on. And that would be about it, I think. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out cause I get comments all the time. Oh, it looks like you just took crypto gnome settings. Well, I do take his settings and I tweak them to my liking. Um, I change a lot of stuff up here in my base settings. And then I have a pretty much completely different market condition settings than he does. But um, he puts them up there for people to to download. So <laughs> I'm allowed to download them. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to him because he does a really good job of, of updating the community and everything. Um, Anyway, on another note, so basically what I did here is I, I, there's a couple things you have to change when you download this new PT feeder version. Um, I recommend just downloading it brand new and fresh and inputting all of this stuff in yourself. Um, do it one time and forget it because you might have some issues if you try and just add a couple of the things. Um, I had some issues when I first downloaded this new thing a couple days ago. So anyway, the, the first and foremost biggest thing is max cost. This, this used to be labeled cost, but you have to label it max cost now. Um, so make sure you do that. Um, the cost percentage, it's still a percentage if you leave that in your host settings file. So it's all good. Um, a couple other things that you have to have in this new update is the, this right here. Um, so this was a little bit confusing for me, but um, I, I couldn't like figure out what, what was going wrong, but it, it basically, you have to have the trailing buy, you have to have your minimum trailing buy and your max trailing buy, because those are new parameters that this, um, code needs. And then same with your trailing profit, you have to have max trailing profit and it'll give you an error if you don't have these in there. Um, so yeah, I mean, like you copy these settings if you want, um, however you want to do it. That's really all I changed. And then the, the other stuff that I changed is just right down here. I, I added in a buy strategy. So for my bearish market, I wanted it to be using low BB and I'm actually using low BB and boring as well. So I, I might be changing this to EMA gain and then I might be changing the bull to EMA spread, but I'm still kind of testing it. So th that's really all I changed from my last video. Um, if you want, just pause it and go in and, and uh, 
you know, copy these settings if you want. I'll scroll down so you can see this. I know it's kind of small. I've been getting complaints about that, but it's what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so when we look at, at low BB and kind of the reasons why it might be a good buying strategy in a bearish market is because I just wanted to chart it real quick. I saw CryptoGnome had uh, charted this and I thought it was really helpful. So basically your low BB line is this line right here, right above the red. And if I can zoom in, maybe it'll be a little better. So this is your low BB line. This is your high BB line. Now there's percentages in between here from zero at the low BB line to a hundred at the high BB line. And then negative percentages down this way. So if you have your, your profit trailer feeder low BB set up to negative 20 and 20, then this is what it's going to look like. This is what profit trailer feeder is looking at. So basically you're going to be buying in this red region and that's what you're telling your bot to do. And so what's cool is, and if you want to get this indicator, just type in low BB and it's the last one, low BB and high BB for profit trailer by bot indicators. And um, they just made this one free, I guess. So you can go in and kind of chart and you can adjust the settings to different parameters and you can basically just go into your, your profit trailer feeder folder, your app settings folder, and you can decide what you want this to look like. You can go into your indicators and you, you can basically decide what you want this to look like. So this is the seconds. So that's a 15 minute candle. And then you have your BB SMA, which is 20, which is this middle line, this moving average. And, uh, and then you can play with these and decide how you want this to look. And so that's what I'm doing. And you can change this stuff. You can change the buy value at negative 30. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's how you would like chart it and kind of give an idea of, of where you think or what you think the best buying strategies are. And then you can also add some EMAs on here and you can add a couple of those and you can go back into your indicators and you can decide, okay, what EMAs am I using right down here? 24 and three. And if you're using EMA spread, EMA cross, EMA gain, then you can go into these PT feeder buying strategies, wherever I guess I don't have that folder up, but you can kind of chart this stuff out and get a better idea of what you think each market condition should be using for its buying strategy. So with that, I'll leave you guys with that one. If you want me to do a more in depth video on buying strategies, maybe I can do that again. I have a couple on my channel. So if you want to go back and look at those, I kind of do some charting and explain how it works, um, how the bot will, will purchase. So if you haven't checked those out, check those out. Um, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want some more content like this. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.